Hi, I'm Angel De Rosario III from Las Vegas, and I'm a New Era collector. I started collecting hats in 1989, but it's like 1991 when I was walking around this mall and I saw this cool cap, it's fitted, and I never owned a fitted before. And it was uh, actually made by New Era, it's a Greensboro Hornets cap. I bought it and I got hooked since. My goal is to really get all the hats that every team wore through the years, you know, from whatever they started up to the present. A team change hats, I have to get them. And if their first cap started in 1900, I have to find the first hat from 1900. Uh, if I'm buying a hat just, you know, for looks or pretty much color and design, the uniqueness, because, you know, it's a cap you want to people asking you where'd you get that cap you know you don't want to like uniform and everybody has the same hat you notice they have some behind it so they're pretty much I always have double of each style so I will wear out the other one and then the rest will stay as a collection this one I got from the uh, 2011 Comic-Con convention in San Diego which is limited edition Tokidoki Captain America cap do I have a favorite hat they're like my children so I love them all, so I don't really have a favorite one. This is probably my most expensive hat since it was autographed by uh, three members of the 1978 World Champion New York Yankees, uh, Mickey Rivers, MVP Bucky Dent, and uh, Hall of Famer Goose Gossage with the uh, 1978 logo. Actually, my family thinks I'm stupid for buying so many hats. and. They asked me, what are you going to do with all those hats? You only have one head anyway. And are you going to wear all of those? It's a waste of money. But to me, it's my passion and I love it. And it's always been a dream of mine to collect all the teams since I was 12. If I have my way, on my wedding day, I would like to wear a new hair hat. And if I die, I would like to be buried with one of my hats.